Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Poller. A few years ago I uploaded a video for a paper chromatography experiment. Here's a clip from that video. It's got a few views over the years and has generated some really great questions. One of them is whether or not you could do this experiment using a permanent marker. And I thought it was a great question. So I made some changes to the experiment and I want to share them with you. We're going to run that same experiment using the water soluble wet erase marker and water as a solvent. We're also going to run the wet erase marker in another solvent. We're going to run it in isopropyl alcohol. Okay, now we're also going to try the permanent marker. We're going to try running the permanent marker in water and we're also going to run it in isopropyl alcohol. So let's take a look and see how it turns out. When the samples are placed into the two different liquids, we see that the ink from the wet erase marker starts to move almost right away. The ink from the permanent marker is not moving at all in the water. Both inks are moving in the isopropyl alcohol. However, we see that they're not moving as much as the wet erase marker ink is moving when placed into the water. So how and why does this work? To answer this question, we need to understand that water is a polar molecule because of the difference in electron negativity between hydrogen and oxygen. This means that the electrons are shared, but shared unevenly between hydrogen and oxygen. Isopropyl alcohol is also a polar molecule because of the red oxygen atom. The rest of the molecule is nonpolar. Overall, we would say isopropyl alcohol is somewhat polar. This is because the oxygen of the alcohol functional group gives the molecule a polar region, while the other parts of the molecule are nonpolar. If we compare isopropyl alcohol to other solvents, we see that it's much more polar than a nonpolar solvent like hexane, but it's not nearly as polar as water is. Capillary action causes water and alcohol to move up through the paper, but not to the same extent. This is due to the fact that capillary action is greater in water due to its much higher polarity. The experiment is a good illustration of the saying, like dissolves like. The polar pigments of the wet erase marker will dissolve in water because it's a polar solvent. They will also dissolve in the alcohol because it's somewhat polar. The pigments in the permanent marker are nonpolar, so they won't dissolve in water. However, they will dissolve in the alcohol because the alcohol is somewhat nonpolar. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions about this experiment, if you have any comments about it, please leave them down below. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.